Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today I'm going to show you how to align your nav bar to left, center, or right using Bootstrap in Dreamweaver. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Now let's get started. Okay, so I opened the Dreamweaver, and before we start, we need to define the site. So go to site menu, new site, and my site name is going to be nav, navigation, my local site folder, let me make a new folder, let me name it, uh, it's going to be my root folder, boot, strap, nav, okay, choose it, so that's my root folder, save it, okay, now create a new file document type HTML, framework, bootstrap, and then uh, bootstrap CSS, choose the other create new one, and please uncheck, include a pre-built layout, create it. Okay, so now go to file, save as, I'm gonna save this file as index.html, so it will go to my bootstrap nav root folder, save it. Let me check my root folder. Bootstrap nav. See? So this is one perfect uh, white blank uh, web page. Now we're going to insert the nav bar. So back to Dreamweaver. Okay. So select your body. You see that? And then please open the insert tab. And in this insert tab, there are uh, multiple menu options under this drop down menu. Please choose Bootstrap components this one. So um, your body area is selected, choose container fluid because we're going to make a responsive website. See, so we have a container fluid. Place your mouse cursor inside. See that blinking cursor inside of your container. We're going to insert this time just a container. This container is going to be nested inside the fluid. So you're going to see that uh, container fluid, container as a kind of a hierarchy. Okay, so now container is selected. See the blinking cursor? Scroll down, you're going to see nav bar. And there are multiple options. Please choose the just a basic nav bar. Nest. There we go. So this is kind of a basic settings. Let me save it again. Save it. I'm going to check. Let me refresh. See? So this is what we have. See? It is working. Okay. But first, I don't want to keep this a search window and the disabled and the drop down menu things. So what I'm going to do is under your container, under nav bar, you see that? Form. I don't want to keep it. And then under this nav bar menu, disabled item, delete it. Drop down item, I don't want to keep it. So now I have nav bar, home button, and the link button. I want to have three more. So select the uh, nav item, the link. Hold down the control key, click, or right click. Choose the duplicate it once. Two, let me do one more. Duplicate it. You see that? In this, the, uh, the code section, uh, I'm going to change the name. Uh, the first one, instead of a link, I'm going to name it as about. My second one, I don't know what this website is about. <laughs> Events. And the next one, I don't know gallery the last one contact okay let me save it now let me double check let me refresh my web page see so this is what we have so by default in dreamweaver you will see that the nav bar on the left and then a home about that everything is kind of uh, aligned to the left 
So now let's make some change. So first, in your the, uh, DOM page, choose the container. This. This is the whole thing. Then, scroll down, you will see that navbar MR auto. So this will assign the other, define the other where to align. So MR, this is the margin on right. Let me try this, ML. See, it goes to the right. Let me save it. Let me refresh. See, if you want to align center, instead of ML, try MX. It is centered. File, save, and let me refresh. See? So this is that simple. So MR auto, ML auto, MX auto. That's all you need to change in Dreamweaver. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope that this video helps your project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.